most beautiful souls. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us this beautiful day. We are excited because we are in the flow of all the energy that is coming to you. It may seem like it's a struggle sometime because that's that energy comes to you. It's going to touch those dark places that you have not fully relieved in yourself yet. But in that touching, in that energy coming to you, you will be cleansed and gifts will come to you. Keys to the kingdom will be yours. That is what we are speaking of today. How abilities and skills can unfold in you in an instant. Let us begin with talking about the channel Peter. He's been having a rough go recently with the new energies coming in. It's really been in touch with a lot of patterns that have been in him since his rebirth and even before that. And these patterns are now no longer compatible with the higher energies. Hence, he's having to relieve them. And this relieving is a difficult process. Feel it, let it go, change the relationships with everyone around him who are changing because they're not putting up with his crap anymore. So it's a challenging process, but the beauty of it is there's growth. In the past week, two separate abilities manifested in his life. And we're here to tell you that as you open or set yourself up to clearing, as you allow more energy to come to those dark places and illuminate you, you can have many abilities, not just one or two, all of them. The keys to the kingdom are yours. So what happened? Peter and his wife started a TV show where they would interview people who had 5D skills and abilities and then do a transmission, get into a oneness field and do a transmission with these people to have everybody viewing be in the field. And then they have the imprint, the activation, the skills are theirs. You didn't know that the ability to transmit skills is a skill. And Peter and his wife have practiced that and have that, and now they're sharing it. Well, in this process, Peter interviewed a couple of people, one of which was a beautiful woman who channels light language and puts it in her music. And it was nice, but this was always like a distant thing to Peter. But then he was meditating the other day, and there it was he kind of heard something in the background. And it wasn't like us when we speak with him, which was more of an energy squirt. He could actually sense and hear the words, the sounds. So he gave them voice. He turned off the music he was meditating with, stood in his meditation posture, and it came through. And immediately the energy field shifted around him. He was just uplifted so beautifully. And that is what's available to you. Put yourself in that field and these skills and abilities come to you, whether it is light language or another skill or ability. The second manifestation that came to Peter was a shopping team. His wife always joked about this, that, oh, I'll just ask my shopping team and she'd decide what she want to pay and what product she wanted, very clearly have in mind what she wanted, and then sit back until they arranged for her and said, oh, go to the store now. Or look online in this catalog now. And she would always find it at a beautiful price, exactly what she wanted. It's a great skill. Now, Peter kind of had this. He has his restaurant ability. He's hungry for a certain food. He can just sit there, tune in, get in the car and drive. Doesn't have to Google it anymore. That actually gets in the way of clouding the messages we're trying to send. He Before, there was GPS and he would do public speaking. He would drive to these different cities and have the evening off and say, I'm hungry for something. And then get in the car and just feel the nudges and when to turn, where to go, park, and then within a block of looking around, you go, yeah, there. And he'd always get these fantastic meals. So he knew he had a restaurant team. But 
the other day he decided to redo uh, his his office, no longer have it an office, turn it into a studio. And we're laughing because he wants to say, and you're going to get better videos coming soon. <laughs> but he wanted to turn it off and he needed a different configuration of furniture. And he didn't want to spend a lot of money because it was not available to him in the moment. So we just said, go to Savers. And it's a story he never really goes to. He donates stuff there, but he never goes and looks around in it there. And he found the most beautiful desk set up for $20 amazing so he was dancing around i've got a shopping team now he was saying i've got a shopping team these are just two abilities that came to him on consecutive days because he was staying present with the difficulties of the darkness that he was clearing and he went to his wife and said oh hey sweetheart i got my second ability in two days and she he goes, he says to her, but yeah, it's just so difficult right now. It's so hard staying present with all the stuff that I denied for a lifetime. It's just so hard and difficult. And she just laughs at him and says, oh, I'd make that trade in a second. <laughs> Have a few days of difficulty <laughs> for a couple of abilities. I'd make that trade in a second. <laughs> he realized that. She did not understand the depths that he was creating in his mind, that this was a lifetime of, of darkness he had, and he was releasing it. But now he's there. So we just wish to tell you that these skills and abilities are yours. They're there for you. Open yourself up to them. Start asking your divine, please give me this information. It helps when you start to see what they are. Notice what's around people. Notice what they're doing. Watch videos. Talk to people who have these abilities. Ask them about it so your mind can place it. You can put that in your mind and have a box for it. Then as you clear, instantly the space you open up will be filled with the higher energy frequencies and the abilities and skills you've been focusing on because you put your attention on it. So it's not like a process of the old way of 3D where you go and learn it and practice it. And that's helpful. You can do these things. And I'm sure there's going to be academies and schools teaching this as we move into 5D. Won't it be wonderful when these are things that are taught to grade school kids that, yeah, this is normal. Manifest this thing, these, these abilities. So that can be done and it will be done. But for now, the key is to put your focus on it and then clear the blockages. We cannot stress this enough. And a lot of people don't like these messages when we sit there and say, you have work to do and it's difficult. It's like, no, I want the easy path. And you've had the easy path for so many lifetimes, which is why you've chosen to be here in this lifetime to really start to work with what you would call these denser, heavier energies. It's time for the heavy lifting. It's that last shove. It's time to sit there and go, this is difficult. Take a breath. Push through it. You push through it by being present and allowing it and feeling it. And for the channel, Peter, it looked like being depressed for four days. And that was nothing compared to when he would spend a decade in depression. So he was kind of happy, although he had to feel that whole decade of depression condensed into four days. <laughs> But it's not like you have to spend every single second on it with the same depth and agony. You have to touch it, allow its full expression as it chooses to express, whether that's in your voice or your movement or however it is you do it. You allow the full expression and then instantly you'll be showered, showered with beneficence and gifts. The last step, and this is important, this is different in the type of clearing that uh, we have been speaking about. The last step is always replace what you clear with something better. And it's not a conscious thing of, oh, I'm going to put this in or put that in. It's just, okay, spirit, you know what's up. Fill me with divine love and divine light. And you can imagine it coming trickling down through the top of your head, that channel directly to the central sun, into your heart, filling up your whole body. So 
as we leave this message today, we're going to send an energy transmission to you of what it's like to fill up with divine light and love. And remember this, when you get to those dark places and you choose to stay present and do your clearing, remember it. And then, then you will be able to actually have the release you want and immediately replace it with love and light and higher qualities. <clears throat> so for the moment, just sit back and relax. Know you're in divine hands. Just you in your chair. Let your chair support you. Let it hold you up. Take a nice deep breath. Yes, your breath is so important. It's tied to your whole, it's literally in Latin, we believe it was translated as a spirit to spirit, your breath. So take a nice deep breath. Let it come into you, fill you up. Now imagine that connection, that source connection, the central sun, a column of light directly from source through the top of your head into your body. And every in-breath, you can feel that energy. You can actually feel the tingling on your scalp coming down into your heart. Nice. Now breathe in and feel your heart expand with that light. And as you breathe out, send it to every cell in your body, rejuvenating you, revitalizing you. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. And now, just stay with it. We're going to be quiet now and just spend several moments in transmission to help boost this energy for you. Please open your eyes and look into our eyes, the channel's eyes, for the next minute or two. And just step aside and allow grace to flow from his eyes to your eyes. We are stepping aside too so that Source directly can come into your vision. Yes, ma. 
Close your eyes and sit back and just feel the remainder of this song as the energy continues to come to you. Let your magnificence shine.